Hey guys, it's Rue and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited to be here today for you guys. I am doing my very first favorites video. Yes, today is my May favorites. I have a few things to share with you. I'm very excited to do so. So stay tuned so you can see what I'm loving for the month of May. So when I decided to do this video, I wanted to include what all the lovely ladies include, their beauty, their skincare, their makeup, their luxury items, their accessories, their fashion. So that's what I'm gonna do, a little bit of everything. So let's go ahead and get started. The first item I'm gonna talk about is something from skincare, and this is the La Mer The Tonic. I am so impressed with this. I picked this up during the Sephora Spring Savings um, event and it has been a game changer for me. I am actually very, very impressed by this tonic, the toner. I have used this on my skin anytime I get a pimple or a zit, which is not very often, but I do break out from time to time. And when I use this toner, I find that my skin starts to settle down. It starts to calm down. It's a great product. It is a little bit on the pricier side. However, I'm okay with spending a little bit more money for my skincare. It does not bother me. Um, it's not something I use every single day, but I do use it, I would say, at least five times a week so far as you can see I have a pretty decent dent in it because it was full all the way to the top so I am enjoying this great toner and I would highly recommend it something I picked up from the Sephora spring savings event so get your hands on this next time there's a sale or even now if you want to you know spin your coin on something without that extra savings so my next favorite is amazing it's the Pharmacy Green Clean, the Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. Guys, I don't know how long this has been out, I really don't know, but if you have not tried this, you are missing out on a great, great makeup remover. This Melt Away Balm is, it's, it's bomb. <laughs> so I first heard about it with Cassie Thorpe, and then again, Keiko Beauty, um, was just raving about it. It's one of her favorites too. So I decided to order it again with the spring savings event with Sephora and I used it and I fell in love. You know, I'm not huge on makeup wipes anyways. They kind of leave my skin irritated. I have to make sure that I use a makeup wipe that is very gentle because otherwise my eyes start to burn, my skin gets a little bit sensitive, and it feels kind of like a thin, if that makes sense. It, it, just, it just feels very, very irritated when I use makeup wipes. So I was happy to find something that was gentle. I was happy to find something that removed makeup. And when actually when you rinse it off, um, it just comes off. There's no film. I mean, I do wash my face after, but truly, I, I use the balm all over my skin. I rinse it off. My skin feels amazing. And I get to wash my face like once. With makeup wipes, I feel like I have to scrub the makeup off, wash my face like actually two or three times before all my makeup is still really gone. So this is an amazing product. Again, I highly recommend the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melts Away Cleansing Balm. Yeah, it smells really, really nice too. So that's also a good plus for this product. So again, recommend 10 out of 10. All right, moving on, I have two makeup um, items I want to share. And the first is my new NARS blush. It's the color Dominate. Again, this was a favorite from Miss Keiko with Keiko Beauty. She recommended this and I purchased it and I love it. I love blush. I'm a blush girl. I love pinks, but after trying this, I, I think I like kind of like a, this is more of a berry, more of a um, a richer color. It's not just a pink, it's a plum, it's a, it it's beautiful. And so I'm not wearing it today, unfortunately, but I wear it a lot. You don't need much. It's very pigmented and I think that it's beautiful on my skin. I think it would be beautiful on anyone's skin. I'm loving this richer color and um, I have to say that it was a great recommendation. I'm loving it and um, again, I would recommend it is the NARS 
blush color is Dominate. And uh, again, yes, I recommend. My second makeup item is going to be the Fenty. I think this is called the, oh goodness, Velvet Liquid uh, Lip Color. That's what it's called. And mine's a little dirty. I'm so sorry. It was in my bag. And I guess I had some other things in there that got it dirty. But it's in the color MVP. It's a red. It's a beautiful red. I think I've said to you guys before, red is like one of my favorite lip colors to wear. I also really, really enjoy matte. I enjoy red. This red is gorgeous. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It comes on my skin like really, really smooth. It's also very um long wearing uh, i would say that this is definitely i wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10 because this is a product that gets on your teeth horribly <laughs> in the beginning but once it dries you know it, you wipe it off it's fine so that kind of irritates me about several um lip colors that i get but the color is gorgeous it is a very very nice red color looks good on my skin it doesn't have any orange it's more of a blue toned red it doesn't have any orange undertones in it which I don't like reds like that I like a true red with blue undertones I like how a blue red looks with my skin tone so again the Fenty velvet liquid lip color um, great products great color long lasting literally lasts all day long so um i would recommend this i would say like i said it's not a 10 out of 10 but probably like a seven and a half or an eight out of ten but i do like it and i do recommend it okay moving on to some jewelry pieces so i have to say i have fallen in love with the collection of earrings that i'm actually wearing right now these are from Swarovski, and i have three pair yes three pair of these earrings and different colors again i saw these on cassie thorpe i'm a big big fan of hers she has great style i don't particularly like everything that she wears but i do enjoy a lot and of it even if i don't like it for myself i like everything fits her personality so i like it for her but these earrings are amazing she had the yellow color and Aisha from Simply Aisha also had these in the yellow color. I got the three other colors besides the yellow. I like yellow, but it's not my favorite. On a video, a past video, I had the um, pink ones on. So here these are. And I also have the blue. And I also believe Cassie has the blue as well. So I have the pink ones, the blue ones, and the green ones. And they also come in yellow. They are very lightweight. They are beautiful. I was able to pick these up on a sale, so that also helps because Swarovski does offer sales. And I think these were either, I didn't get them all together. I got one on one sale and one on another. And I wanna say the first time I picked up the earrings, I got the pink ones first, then I got the blue ones, and I got the green ones. And so I wanna say the first time I picked up earrings, they were 30% off, and then they went to 25% um, off. While this is not a favorite, and it's a little bit off, so I'm sorry, but I wanted to share this with you. I love Fendi, I think I've told you that guys before. And I have these two bracelets. I don't know if they are vintage or would be considered vintage yet because I really do not know how long I've had it. But I've had these bracelets in my collection for well over 15 years. I feel like almost 20, but I'm not 100% sure. I love these and I pulled them out to wear today. It's like a little medallion with an FF on it and then this kind of like script or cursive Fendi writing. I love it. I just it. wanted to share that because I was going through my jewelry, you know, kind of putting some things on and I saw these and I decided to put them on and I was like, man, I've had these for such a long time and they look pretty good. I mean, they're not tarnished. They are scratched up a little bit, but not tarnished. So that goes to say something about the costume jewelry, at least the older costume jewelry with Fendi. So anyways, I'm moving on. I wanted to move on next to some fragrance. So let's go ahead and do the two fragrances that I'm loving. So the first one is going to be a Tom Ford fragrance and it is Cherry Smoke. So again, 
picked it up Sephora, Sephora sale, spring sale, savings events, and I love this fragrance. I think it's beautiful. I think it's sweet. I think it's smoky. It smells so good. It reminds me a lot of Lost Cherry, but a lot smokier, so it's just really good. I did get the smaller bottle of it. Um, mm, it smells like burnt wood or like a fire that's been put out with that sweetness of cherry, like syrupy cherry with it. I love it. Um, it may not be for you, but I like these types of scents. So this is my favorite and I've been wearing it. And initially, I didn't think I would wear this in spring, but I'm okay with it. It's not, it's not bothering me at all. So I think you could wear it in the spring. I'm, I'm loving it. Um, yeah, so one of my favorites. And the second one is Soleil Neige. Now this came out a while ago, but I'm new to the party. Um, it smells so good. Oh my God, this smells so good. It's not like a lot of the fragrances that I have in my collection. I find the majority of my fragrances are fall or winter fragrances. They're very, very sweet. They um, are gourmand fragrances. This is not a gourmand fragrance. This is a, it's sweet. I find it to be fresher. I find it to be a scent or a fragrance that I would wear strictly for spring and summer. This is not a fall winter fragrance for me. Although it's not heavy, I wouldn't consider it extremely light either, if that makes sense. I'm sorry I don't have notes for you guys. However, it's a beautiful scent. I would recommend both of these. I love Tom Ford fragrances. Maybe I'm biased, but these are both winners. I I put them both in the category of 10 out of 10. This is more of something that I would wear. This is more up my alley of the types of fragrances that I like, but this is also very, very beautiful and very, very good. I enjoy it. It's just not what I typically wear. Um, it's not typically what I would wear, um, you know, so yeah, but it's beautiful and I would definitely recommend both of these. Okay guys, moving on, I have two pairs of shoes to share with you and they're both sandals. So they both remind me of each other, but one is a little bit um, more, in my opinion, casual and affordable than the other one is. So I wanted to share both of you, both of them with you. Um, first up, we have my um, Tiva sandals. Um, if you've ever seen these, I don't exactly know what they are called. Let's see what the, what the box says, because I'm not really, really sure. Um, it's just the mid-form universal in black. And so these are them. I actually have two pair of these. I wear these like almost every day. These are not the pair I wear because these are the ones that are in a little bit better condition than my everyday ones. But I wear these to work just about every day. I have to have my feet out. My feet hurt most of the time. So I have to have my feet out and these, they feel good on my feet. Okay, so um, yeah, they are very simple, you know, a strap over the toe, a strap around the ankle type shoe. Um, nothing very stylish about them, I'm not gonna lie, but I wear these all the time. They make me happy. My feet are exposed, my toes are breathing. So yeah, I love these shoes. And like I said, I wear them all the time and I've had multiple pairs of them. So those are the Tiva, again, mid-form universal black sandals. Okay, moving on to my more luxury pair of sandals that kind of match those. And they are my Chanel, um, these are not the dad sandals. I have the dad sandals too. I'm gonna call these the chain sandals because I think that's what they're called. I've had them for a few years and I keep wearing them every year. For me, they don't go out of style. I like flat shoes. Um, it can have a little bit of a sole. These are not completely flat. Um, they're not incredibly comfortable. There's really no cushion to these, you know, but but I like them. I think they're stylish and I like the chains on them because I, that's 
classic Chanel so you know um, but I wear these a lot and now that it's warm and I can wear sandals I have been wearing these and these are favorites they are really cute with my outfits and I enjoy them so that's a favorite and guys I have one more favorite to show you so um, I'm not really a shorts person I wear pants all the time however lately I've been trying to venture out and expose my little chicken legs I don't have the most attractive legs and I'm not very confident to wear you know short skirts or dresses or um, shorts however within the last year I've kind of like actually the last two years I would say but even more so the last year I've been on this like who cares kind of like you know trip and I'm enjoying this this journey <laughs> because it's allowed me to wear things that I think are actually really cute comfortable and it is hot in Louisiana so I'm actually gonna be a little cooler too so I want to share with you a pair of shorts that I have and they are Prada shorts. They are the nylon little strip shorts. I actually shorts. picked these up last year and I wanted to share these with you guys because they are so versatile. They are very, very comfortable. I can wear them a little bit more fancy and dressed up if I want to because I can do whatever I want, right? It's fashion. It's fun. So I can wear a cuter top with it or I could wear a t-shirt or a tank with it and still kind of have a look. Um, it's all about how you style things and so um yes they're comfortable they are i don't want to say you know that i can't destroy them or anything but they are very very um sturdy i guess that's the word um maybe there's another word i just can't think of it right now but they're so versatile they're very very comfortable they are nylon so they are incredibly durable i think they'll last forever you know like i said i got them last year and i probably wore them once last year but this year i've worn them already a couple of times and so maybe a few maybe three to four times so far and you know because they were a pretty penny i don't mind wearing them over and over and over again i don't really care so um yeah they are fun i'm enjoying them they are my favorite i think i've worn them twice during the month of May so yeah they are they're up and I actually don't have any handbags to share with you guys for this favorites I love my handbags but there was nothing that like I used over and over again for May actually I did my work bag and I'm gonna do a separate video on that so that's soon to come so look out for that one too but nothing fancy or anything else that I want to show you hand but hey hand <laughs> <laughs> handbag wise because I'm going to show you my work bag in another video all right guys so that does it for my May favorites this is the part of the video where I ask you to subscribe and comment and ring the notification bell so that I can grow my YouTube channel guys I am having so much fun with YouTube and I'm meeting so many people I'm also learning new content creators and I'm also commenting more I'm understanding YouTube a little bit more now I'm not growing incredibly fast and that's okay but I'm having a great time doing this I feel like I'm um, meeting people and I'm getting to talk to people who have similar interests that I do but I would like you to subscribe maybe tell your friends one or two or three or four to so come on by and join the Rue crew because we have a good time over here I enjoyed my very first May favorites video I hope you guys enjoyed my items and I cannot wait to see you next time oh before I go I kind of wanted to show you guys my outfit of the day well I had my makeup done again today because I had a little event to attend but um i can't show you everything because i took my shoes off but you can see my little my little top i have a little feather top on it's got straps she's cute i have on some black j crew uh pants and i had on some my uh saint laurent ysl tribute sandals the shorter ones because the tall ones are just too tall for me i'm already tall i'm five foot eight so i don't need anything to make me you know six foot two <laughs> I'm already taller than everybody I know so it's like you know I definitely um I like to be tall that doesn't bother me but you know 
once I start towering over my friends, it, it gets to be a bit much. But yes, this is my outfit of the day. I hope you enjoyed my video. This has been great. Thank you so much, guys. See you later.